613 Faith Productions, the Man Cage Sports Podcast proudly presents to you, Sucker Shh, hosted by yours truly, Double J, J. Jones. Man, that's some old sucker shh. What up, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Jones, from the Man Cave Sports Podcast. Man, y'all want to find me? Y'all know where y'all can find me at. Hit me on Twitter, Poppin' Fresh 25 Jay Jones, whatever. It'll get you to me. IG, Yo Chill, or Jay Jones, it'll get you to me. Uh, Facebook, Jay Jones, TikTok, Jay Jones 15. I'm all over the place. Holler at me. Let's chop it up. Now, with all that being said... I want to welcome y'all to some sucker sh, man. Yes, some sucker sh. Now, let me explain to you all how this segment came about. See, on the podcast with me, G Money, Mike T, Wild Car Mar, when we do on our shows that drop on Saturdays on 613th A Production on Apple, Spotify, Google Podcast and YouTube on our 613 Faith Productions page on YouTube as well. When we're doing our show, man, and you know, something sounds weird or something sounds out of pocket or something just sounds real lame, I just be like, man, that's some old sucker shit, man. Calling it what it is, right? So that's what we got here for you all today. We got the segment called Sucker Shit. So with that being said, we got our First two nominees who could possibly win Sucker Shit. The first Sucker Shit ever award goes to Oakland A's announcer Glenn Cooper. Cooper, I'm sorry. See, on May 5th, Monday night, I believe it was, the Kansas City Royals and the Oakland A's were playing. And Glenn, nominee number one, he was talking about how him and his co-host, they were, you know, they were in Kansas City and they were out. And, you know, they went to the Negro Museum and they went to get some barbecue. And he was just so excited to explain what he and his co-host, Dallas, Dallas Brayton, former Oakland Athletics pitcher, Had such a good time in Kansas City. But the only problem is, you're probably like, Jay, ain't nothing real sucker about that. But yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because like I said, the Negro Museum, my man Glenn, he said something else. Y'all check out what Glenn said. Stay right there and listen to this right here. We had a phenomenal day today. Nigger League Museum and Arthur Bryant's Barbecue. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. Negro and a racial slur N word, nowhere near close to each other. How he got this messed up beyond me. But my take is this isn't Glenn's first time using that word. See, Glenn said it too freely, he was too comfortable for me. He just said it like he was in the backyard with the homies, lighting up a cigar on the grill, you know what I'm saying, just chilling. Or like he was rapping one of his favorite rap songs. He dropped it too comfortable. And then nominee number two, like I said, his co-host, Dallas Brendan, he was a little too cool and too lax for me. When Glenn dropped this racial slur, see, he just was sitting there and he was kind of just like, like, okay, he was getting ready to go into how they had such a great time in Kansas City. Now, with that being said, somebody radioed oh, Glenn. Somebody said, oh, Glenn, bro, like, oh, you got to clean this up. So Glenn tried to, he came back. He didn't try. He came back with an apology in the sixth inning. Y'all check out his apology and let me know what y'all think. We had a phenomenal day today. Nigger League Museum and Arthur Bryant's Barbecue. Welcome back to Coffin. Welcome back to Coffin Stadium. I just wanted to, a little bit earlier in the show, I 
said something didn't come out quite the way I wanted it to. Um, and I just wanted to apologize if, if it uh, if it sounded different than I meant it to be said. And like I said, I just wanted to apologize for that. What? What? Come on, man. That ain't it, Glenn. I don't know what kind of apology that was. I, again, I told y'all he was too free with it. He was at home chilling. You forgot he was on live TV. Now, with that being said, I was like, okay, all right, man, you know, I don't know. I try to give him a benefit of the doubt. You know, I'm a fair person. I don't really be, you know, trying to be judgmental and things like that. I still think he said it way too loosely and too comfortable like he does not on his off time. But then I started doing a little research for myself, and y'all know social media. When, when you go down that rabbit hole, you likely to find something. If there's smoke, there's fire. See, this ain't the first time my man Glenn, well, not my man, but this ain't the first time homie Glenn said this. See, Glenn is kind of known for dropping a few racial slurs. See, back in 2020 during the pandemic season, when they had, the, you know, the cardboard fans in the stands, you know, my man Glenn made another reference, you know what I'm saying, as the Oakland A's, again, were playing the San Francisco Giants. Y'all listen to this audio, and maybe I'm tripping, but y'all let me know what y'all hear in this audio, because I know what I heard. Why centennial celebration of the founding of the Negro Leagues? How about that? That's great. Some of the teams actually are wearing Negro League uniforms. Nice gesture by the Giants. They have six cutouts of Negro League legends in the dugout, and also just past the dugout where some of the other players are sitting. Now, y'all let me know what y'all heard. It sounded to me. Like he said it two times, not one time, but two times. So as much as Glenn wants to apologize and he wants to try to clean this up, Glenn, this is who you are, my guy. This is you. You've been with the Oakland A's uh, announced team for 20 years, 20 years, my boy. This is no dice, man. And my second nominee, Dallas, See, he, I, I was trying to let him off the hook a little bit, too. I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. I said, well, maybe he was kind of shocked, and maybe he, you know, he didn't know how to respond, right? But then when I listened to his explanation, my man Dallas said, well, you know, they be listening to things, and they be trying to get things in the ear sets and trying to hear what the producers are saying and things of that nature. So he didn't actually hear Glenn say what he said. But he was ready to respond as soon as Glenn finished his statement. Which one is it, homie? Did you not hear him? Or did you just, was you in shot? Like, the mad thing, math in Dallas. I don't know you as a person, but it just sounds like some sucker shit. So, with that being said, we have two winners of our first ever sucker shit award of the week that award goes to my man glenn cooper and dallas Braden, co-host sharing the sucker shit award for the first time congratulations fellas you are winners by far this is truly some sucker shit i joke about it we made light of it but this is truly some sucker shit we are in 2023 and you guys know better than this Glenn, especially, this is not your first go round. You've done it before. This is who you are. And the Oakland A should fire you immediately. There should be no more investigation unless there's other stuff that you've done behind the scenes. But you need to go, bro. That's it. That's all. There's no more to discuss. This is who you are. If you're likely to say this on air twice, you probably said it more times before. And nobody really just caught it. But you can't keep allowing this guy to announce games when you have so many different diverse ethnicities on ba on the baseball field. And for him to just come from a Negro museum and come on air and say that, it's just, it's disgusting, it's trifling, and it's some sucker shit. So, with that being said, he and Dallas are the suckers of the week, week, week. So, y'all make sure Y'all tune in each and every week. We're going to try to, we're going to keep this segment going. So if you see some sucker shit, 
Y'all know where to find me. Send me the send me the clip. DM me. At me. Holla at me. Popping popping fresh 25 or J Jones on Twitter. Yo chill J or J Jones on IG. J Jones on Facebook. J Jones on TikTok, man. Holla at me. Drop them clips. And hey, if it, if it's if it's some sucker shit, I'll mention it. With that being said, y'all make sure y'all check me out. My homies out. G Money, Mike T, Wild Card Mar on the Man Cave Sports Podcast on 613 Fake Production on YouTube, on Spotify, on Apple, on Google Podcasts. Make sure y'all drop five stars. Make sure y'all drop a comment. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share. Make sure y'all check out IOW Sports with my homie Wildcard Lamar, MJ, Nick, Mel, all those guys. Make sure y'all check them out as well. Until then, stay sucker free and be safe. I'm out. Mm-hmm.